uh, we are saying that uh, with the homologous series, as we said, that with organic compounds, they are put in two distinctive groups because they are very diverse. So they will have to put them, they will have to be put in groups so that we would just study them. Otherwise, if they were just left there, the chemistry of organic section would be confusing and it would be very difficult to deal with. So they were put in two distinctive groups which we call uh, homologous series. And we said how you define homologous series is defined by six points. We had outlined the four that a member can, is represented by a general molecular formula as we saw for alkenes, alkenes and alkynes. And each member uh, can be prepared in, in, a, in a, homor a homolog or a homologous series can be uh, prepared by uh, similar methods and they exhibit or show uh, similar chemical properties and uh, we also say that they show or exhibit similar physical properties however the physical properties can differ as the number of carbon uh, atoms increase within the carbon skeleton of a member in a homolog or a homologous series. Then we also say that uh, uh, each member differ, a, a successive member in a, a, a differ by a methylene group. So instead of saying methyl, methyl is CH3, but a methylene group, for example, we are going to look at this in alkanes, which is a simple hydrocarbon. From CN, H2N plus 2, for N is equal to 1, we are going to have C4. And this is called methane. Uh, then for N is equal to 2, we are going to have CH3. CH3. Uh, this is ethane. Uh, then for N is equal to 3, we are going to have CH3, CH2, CH3. And this is called propane. For N is equal to 4, we are going to have CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. This is called butane. That is for only a homologous series called uh, arcane specifically. So when you look at this critical, we have CH3, rather CH4 for, for the first member of arcane. We have CH3, CH2. So when you get one carbon minus two hydrogen atoms to bring you back to the previous. So that's why we are saying that the successive member in a homologous series differ by a methylene group. Uh, then we are saying that they have uh, similar chemical physical properties like boiling points, uh, melting point, which gradually change in the same direction as we said that this can change uh, depending on the number of carbon atoms. As we increase the number of carbon atoms, we are increasing the molar mass or the molecular mass or the molecular weight. So we expect the physical properties to change. Like we may go into the world or in the everyday life, when you look at it, you can see a small man or a, and a, a, a fat man. So there has to be a difference. You'll find that the fat man has like 100 kilograms and a small man has in terms of weight, maybe it's thin, you'll find that that one has like 55 kilograms. But they are all human beings, they have the same heart, the, the same heartbeat, uh, but the, what matters is now weight. So we are saying that these physical properties in organic chemistry also change as the molar mass or the number of carbon atoms within the carbon skeleton go on increasing. That's why we said that these properties gradually change in the same direction. That is the direction where you add one carbon, two carbon, three, four, five, six, up to when you get tired. So 
that is your homologous series. Then we also look at a very critical and a very important point or aspect that we are going to be dealing with here in organic section or organic chemistry. That is what we call functional group. Very, very important. Uh, like a, a human being, they would say that this one is brown, this one is short, this one is tall, this one is dark, this one is, uh, is small, this one is slender. So also here we need to be given distinctive features when we are looking at organic compounds. So why, why we talk about uh, functional group? It is because we need to identify these uh, compounds with their respective distinctive groups which we talked about, which we called homologous series. So with the functional group, we just say that it's a group of atoms or an atom which imparts specific chemical properties to the compounds that contains them. So we are saying there is a group of atoms or an atom that imparts specific chemical properties, the specific chemical properties to the compounds that contain them. So a functional group governs principles of chemical properties in a series. Uh, a functional group governs uh, the principles of chemical properties in a homologous series. For example, we are going to have a table summarizing all these uh, homologous series with their respective functional groups and we look at an example and we look at a structural feature and then we will look at the prefix and a suffix because we are going to be looking at the nomenclature sometimes to come when we are looking at this compound because like a human being when I'm there I have to tell you that my name is Indiamuva John like you, my student, you may tell me that I'm Amanya Joseph. That's how I will identify that I know this is Amanya Joseph, this is Ndiamuba John. So also these organic compounds have to be given names and we can easily identify them. When they talk about Ndiamuba John, standardized Kuruzana, they will know that this is a teacher of chemistry. When they talk about uh, maybe Ruaga James, they will know this is a teacher of computer at standardized Kuruzana. So likewise, when they say Amanya Joseph, they will know, oh, this is a student, or oh, was a student of standardized Kurzana in this year at a specific time. So we need to have those distinctive characters that really define us. So when we come to chemistry language, we say that when you have a functional group, for example, for arcanes, we have carbon to carbon single bond as a functional group. Now the single carbon to carbon uh, bond or covalent bond in arcanes. That is a functional group for arcanes and really that one gives it a specific property unlike other uh, compounds in other series like arcanes, arcanes, alcohols, carboxylic acids, benzene and its derivatives among other organic compounds. So when we look at for example arcanes as a series It has a general molecular formula C N H two N plus two. So we are going to have uh, the first members we had already seen. It is called methane with C four. So when I'm to arrange the structure of this very uh, member, we are going to have. So we are going to have carbon carbon to carbon because this is one a single carbon within the member or the molecule we cannot have another carbon atom so we say it is basically a single bond so basically it is carbon the best example would be ethane where we have two carbon atoms we have carbon so now this carbon 
this carbon to carbon covariant covariant single single bond is what we call the functional group for alkanes so carbon to carbon single bond within the homologous series we have called alkanes is what uh, tantamounts their functional group so when we go to alkanes you are going to see uh, another uh, carbon to carbon double bond when we go to al alkynes we are going to see that we have carbon to carbon triple bond when we go to alcohols we are going to, and phenols we are going to have an oh so an oh is the functional group for alkanos or alcohols with the carboxylic acids we have a carboxyl a carboxyl group coo as we are going to see them in the table below So we are going to have the name, then we have the prefix or suffix, then we also have the structural, the structural future, then we have uh, an example, we have an example. Now, to begin with, we are going to start with our canes. The, the, the prefix, we have the ending N as the suffix, that is the ending, that's why we put prefix or suffix. Then the structure feature, we say that this is an aromatic uh, hydrocarbon. containing carbon to carbon single bond. So the carbon to carbon single bond is the function of what? Eh? Function of group. I think we should have included it there that eh, we have the functional, functional, functional group. Then we can have an example as we can have an example. So the functional group here is carbon to carbon single bond. So an example we can have ethane. Ethane as an example. So that is one example for arkenes. Then we also look at arkenes. Arkenes is the suffix or ending we have in. So we we'll hear names like uh, ethene, uh, uh, butene, propene, but one in, but two in, pent one in, pent two in, pent, like that. So we say that the ending is in. So this is uh, the, the structure feature we said is the aromatic hydrocarbons containing carbon to carbon uh, double water, double bond. So the the functional group is carbon to carbon double bond. That is the functional group. An example we can have ethene as the simplest and the first member, ethene. 